Hey everybody, get Mookie here, and I have a little thing for you today, a uh, video to show you how to fix the screen tearing on Dead Space 3, as well as uh, the frame rate cap with the vertical sync on in the game. For any users that have Dead Space 3, if you've gone on it and realized that when you put the vertical sync on, you'll only get 30 FPS, or it seems very slow. Uh, the reason why is because they capped it at 30 FPS when the vertical sync is on. So, for AMD users, there had to be a way to get around it. Now I know the reason why I'm saying AMD users is because for some NVIDIA users they could fix it themselves by going onto their control panel and activating their vertical sync that way um, because it would work. But for AMD, especially on Windows 7 and Vista, the con Catalyst Control Center, which I'll show you here, on the gaming and 3D application settings. It has like a, a thing here that says frame rate control. Wait for a vertical refresh, always on, and open GL triple buffering. Uh, the triple buffering works, but the wait for a vertical refresh does not. So basically, when you put it on, it doesn't always work, and you can get some tearing on certain monitors, like a 60 hertz monitor, uh, which is really annoying. So when you're trying to play games like Dead Space, uh, you get a lot of tearing on it in that sense. And the reason why you're getting tearing, even the vertical sync, uh, should give you so you're getting something without it. You're getting like 118 FPS for example But you're getting the screen tearing really badly even though you could have vertical sync on at 60 FPS They're capping you at 30 so um, There was a way around it, and I, I have a little fix for you actually on how to do that So the first thing you need to do is um, go to the link. I'm going to post to you in the description uh, Now it is from the steam forums, and it's called d3d overrider force v-sync and triple buffering so what you want to do is just have a little read through this and see what it is. Um, now what D3D Overrider is, is a program that overrides the settings to actually give you that V-Sync. It forces your system to do it. Um, and it doesn't affect your graphics card or anything like that. Um, so it's really easy. So all you need to do is download it from Mediafire. Hopefully that link works. What I'm going to do is after this, I haven't checked it yet, so I'm going to go back, look at it, make sure the link works. And if not, I will post another couple of links with the actual download for it, hopefully. Um, so download that. Uh, it will install as something called Rivetuna. It comes along with that package. Don't be alarmed. It's nothing harmful. Uh, it's just to do with the program. And once that's done, what you're wanting to do is open. Now, I've got it here on the menu, but it should be in the All Program section. Or you could just type in D3D Overrider. It should come up there. So what you're going to do is click on it. Accept Yes forever because it needs admin. Uh, and it should... Well, nothing will happen actually. You've actually got to go to your system tray and click on the little X. So if you, if you don't know where your system tray is, it's at the bottom right corner. Just click on that and open it up. It should be like a little X thing. Uh, and here we go. It's opened up. So this is Direct3D Overrider or D3D. And what you're wanting to do first of all, or you don't really need to do it, but I found it effective in some sense, was I added the EXE for Dead Space 3. You can actually see it right there. I've just added it in. Um, I don't think you really need to because most of the time when you start the game, or when you turn on your computer and you want to play it, you must activate the D3D Overrider um, by opening the program. But anyway, if you add that, then you can actually just... What you need to do is make sure you've got Force Triple Buffering on and Force V-Sync on. And then as soon as you click on Dead Space 3, it should come up. And if you have a way of countering how much FPS you're getting, you will see that it should be on 60 FPS constantly. Uh, and you have no screen tearing, uh, no bad artifacts, no shit like that. Uh, and it's really effective. It's really cool and it allows me to play Dead Space 3 uh, really well in that sense where I don't have to watch the stupid tearing in the screen um, and I get r really good action from it. Um, but anyway, th that, that was my fix on it. So hopefully you guys will see this and if you have this problem with the game, it will help you. Uh, I haven't seen it around really a lot even though it, it is around on the forum so a lot of you may have fixed it already. Um, but I just thought I might make a video just in case uh, to help some of you guys. But anyway, if you are interested in checking out the rest of my channel as well, I am doing a Dead Space 3 Let's Play, so if you want to have a look at that, um, go ahead. I'm also doing games like Freedom Fires, which is an old classic game, and Third Days Total War, which is uh, a mod for Medieval Two Kingdoms. So if you are interested in anything like that or interested in what I'm about, uh, go check my channel out. Um, go have a look at some of the videos, a couple of the videos even. Um, and see if you like it. But anyway, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, and if it hasn't, please leave me a comment uh, telling me what happened, what went wrong. I will try and help you as much as I can. 
Uh, now, I do not comment all the time straight away, I, even though I will eventually get to you. Um, so just hold tight. But hopefully, uh, I really do hope this is that a lot of you see this and it helps you, especially for the AMD users, the ones with the AMD. Uh, my card is the AMD Radeon 6950. So with that card, I, you know, I'm seeing really good performance out of it. But without vertical sync on in the game, it's cutting my FPS down and it's, it's, it's really annoying me. But anyway, I won't be rambling on for much now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual stuff, and I'll be back to bring you some great content soon. Uh, so thank you guys, and that's me.